you do know this is a pre-show, and we fil- we film, we stream exclusively the first 15 minutes of the episode here only on social media. And uh, then if you want to listen to the rest of it, you either got to watch live, listen live on rantsofizzo.com, spreely.tv, or get the podcast version of the show at any one of your podcast uh, platforms. If you're uh, watching or sharing or listening, because you're too lazy and you're too comfortable. I don't know why you guys listen on other, other uh, platforms, other platforms, except for like Spreely.tv or Rantsofizzo.com when it's better quality and you'll suffer from the comfort zone of where you're at now. I don't know. All right, one minute. One minute. Here comes Big Sexy. There you go. Kind of hot. You hobbling around a lot? Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I had to piss real quick. I just got off a call and trying to get in here as fast as I can, brother. When are you going to get a bag? <laughs> you talking to piss in? Yeah. Hopefully never. If all goes well. Okay. All right. It's really TV. We're live in uh, 40 seconds. All right. Joining the spaces. Yeah, I know yeah, that's I your know. favorite thing. No, it's fucking hate it. Remember the first thing, the first fifteen minutes of the show is what we're playing on other platforms, and uh, if you want to watch the rest of it, yeah, you can download the Freedom Hub app for your smartphone. Oh, we support patriotic American businesses, do ya? Do ya? Stupid. Prove it to us, or go to rantsofizzo.com or usfreely.tv. All right, man, let's kick this show off with a whatever. We're gonna kick off. Let's do it. Sit down, shut up, and pay attention. Damn! This is the Rants of Izzo Show. With your host, Dominic Izzo. From porn to politics. We touch every third rail we can find. You might want to put your headphones on so your mom can't hear this. It's been called the most entertaining 60 minutes on the internet. And it starts now. Let's do this. Hi, for those who are wondering what this greatness is, just filtering through the speakers or headphones. Oh my God, my fly's open. Now, thank God. All right, hey, let's play a game. Uh, what do you? What kind of pants do you think I'm wearing? Me? Yeah, me. What kind of pants do you think I'm wearing? Uh, white jeans. Oh, dude. Considering the fact I have the ass of a 500-pound black woman, um, <laughs> I would look great in white jeans. Like I'm. I'm two axe handles wide. I'm I'm Italian, so you know what that means. That means if you ever saw True Romance, uh, you know from the uh, 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 Christopher Walken scene exactly what my heritage is. Um, no, it's just my fly was open. All right, you got some updates. You were you were running around like crazy today. What? Uh, were oh you- my god, man! Been on Infowars. Just got a call with the Mines dot com folks. Uh, going on Colonel Rob Mann's show later this afternoon, and uh, yes, busy, busy. Why? Busy Why are day. you so important today? What do you have to share with the world? Man, I, I guess people are like, hey, he didn't die, and we should have him back on our shows. Oh, literally, that was it? So they, okay, It's like pulling teeth with you. So they literally said, hey, oh, Matt, we haven't heard from you. I'll come on the show and talk. Uh, they all want to know. A lot of them want to know about Seth Rich. The Minds.com thing was a business thing that you and I are going to talk about here in a little bit uh, off the year. Okay. Uh, pretty big deal, I think, uh, with the Tim Pool crew. And so um, – yeah, we're going to talk about that and uh, off the record, me and you, on how it can help us. And um, yeah, it's been, it's been a great morning. Um, I've had some coffee. Yeah, I got a big tea here from Sonic that somebody brought me while I was. You know, oh my god, do you like Sonic? I, I, I like the well. Yeah, I used to love Sonic, but now I'm trying to become a skinny kid instead of a fat kid, so I don't eat it as much. Before we get into relevant shit, okay, I think Sonic is phenomenal. I have to go. No, like I oversalt my food and I used to think that that was a bad thing until I realized, you know, you find out that salt uh, helps you keep in water. I take a uh, half a teaspoon to a t- teaspoon of Himalayan, a pink Himalayan sea salt in my pre-workout before I go work out. And I do find out, man, I'm holding on and sweating water a little bit better. Uh, but if it's a non-salted food, I have to go um, and I have to find out my order a little bit better. I think Sonic... Wendy's and um, shit. What's the one that's got the 
Oh, fuck. I could picture it clear as day. Um, I was going to go there last night. I love Arby's. Arby's is my jam. Dude, Arby's is... I can't... I'm going to stay away from the burgers on this one because Arby's is just in a class of its own. I, anything from Arby's. Yeah, yeah. The, the Reuben from Arby's is better than any restaurant Reuben I've ever had. Hands down. And I'm a Reuben junkie. You're a Reuben... Oh, you like Reuben's, huh? I, I'm a Reuben junkie. Their, uh, their buffalo chicken sandwich? Fucking phenomenal. I can't remember the other one. There's one more that I go where I get like this... Um, a uh, uh, burger that's a uh, 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 Swiss and a uh, mushroom burger. And is it's it Wendy's? No, it's not Wendy's. They they also have um, frozen custard there too, this place. It's a white build. So uh, no, oh, it's Freddy's, I bet. I bet no, it's, it's not Freddy's. I got I to, gotta, now I have to literally, I know where it's at, which means I have to pull up the map on my uh, computer. Um, if you're pulling up a map, you're eating there later today. That's how important this no, is. No, I actually had a cheat day yesterday. So I'm 48 years old. And I'll be 49 in March. You look good for 48, Thank man. you. I appreciate that. I am kind of sick. Hashtag no homo. All right. I'm five foot seven, and I'm 232 pounds. I'm down from 238 because I switched to the carnivore diet. And I was going on this weight loss journey and this and that kind of shit. But the problem is I love to lift weights pretty heavy. And um, I went, I'm never, ever going to be the guy that does what everybody does, which is I'm going to do a fitness competition and I'm going to get up on stage. And I, dude, bodybuilders, I've been following the bodybuilding scene since I was 13 years old. It's always been a huge, I've been a huge fan of it. I don't really like how bodybuilding is today because guys look like they have, they, they inject so much synthol and shit in their, in their bodies and whatnot, whatever. Yeah. But I made a commitment. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do something. So I'll be 49 in March and then between March of 49 and March of 50, so 2025, I am going to, uh, I, I, so I became yesterday, I just, I dubbed myself this. I'm going into powerlifting. I'm, I'm going nice. into the bench press, the deadlift, and the squat. And um, I, I started my first powerlifting chest day yesterday. Uh, I could not believe how fucking good it felt to just have that mental thing of, you mean I don't have to go over five reps? This is fucking great. So uh, I had my fast food cheating day yesterday to give myself a little bit of, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, reward. reward. Reprieve, is that the word? Reprieve. Yeah, reward, reprieve. Uh, I got to find this fucking fast food place, dude. It's going to drive me nuts. But if you if you saw like Wendy's, I'm excited because I, I want to know if we have them here in the Ozarks. That's you that's do, you I'm, do. I'm more excited than you are okay. to find out what you're talking about. Okay, here's Schaumburg. I'm gonna go up to route. I want to go to uh, Algonquin Road, and that's 53. So it's back this way. Here's Harper College, Meacham Road. Okay, I'm gonna well, zoom you're in. This. Can I give people a pro tip? Yeah, just the tip. Just the tip. Pro tip right here. So if you guys want to get your Christmas shopping in. Uh, and go to rancivizzo.com, get an amazing shirt there. Jesus loves Democrats. Culver's. Or go to, faith, or go to faithandfreedoms.com and get a Nakatomi Plaza diehard Christmas party shirt. But I'm giving a go to both of them, rancivizzo.com, faithandfreedoms.com. But the point I'm trying to make is yeah. supply chain is jacked up. If you don't have your orders in by December 15th-ish, you're not going to get your shit for Christmas. I'm, and I'm just saying that it doesn't matter if you're shopping at us or somewhere else. Hopefully you're shopping at rancivizzo.com or faithandfreedoms.com. But uh, this is a pro tip. People are going to really be in trouble this year. I, I know people. I was in logistics for years. It is a train wreck. You had better get your shopping done in the next ten to twelve days. No, they got to do one better. A, Online anyway. A, if, if you're if you're a scumbag like me, you're going to go. Hey, sorry, your gift didn't come. Supply chain issues. Uh, or you can <laughs> donate to givesendgo.com, Support Matt College. You could donate in your child's name this year. That's the best gift you can do. It. I'm telling you. Think about doing. it. Hey, Santa didn't bring me my PlayStation. That's okay. What Santa did was he donated five hundred dollars in your name to support Matt Couch. You're going to be we'll what is Matt that? Couch on the air. That's what they're doing. Right. Yeah, exactly. I'm with you. Great, dude. I'm I'm pleased with that one. Uh, it's Culver's is the name of the place I was thinking. Oh, we of. just got a Culver's. Yeah, yeah. They got cheese curds. Oh, uh, they got what? Cheese curds. Are you fucking kidding me? You like cheese curds? I I briefly dated somebody years ago who lived in Wisconsin, and she took me to this restaurant, which was fucking phenomenal. Food in Wisconsin is great. And I got introduced to cheese curds, and I was like, are you kidding me? Because it's Wisconsin. And they're, oh, it's fucking awesome. It's amazing, right? Yeah, yeah it's fantastic. Yeah, so Culver's has cheese. They're known for their cheese curds, apparently. 
Hey, okay. I um I don't have any I got I do I don't have an answer for you at all on that one. Um okay, should we we should talk about some serious stuff in the news, right? Yeah, well, well, I mean, I guess. Why not, right? All right. Well, let's do that one. Uh, <clears throat> let's break a story here uh, for this great holiday season. Uh, in a shocking and infuriating turn of events, 94-year-old veteran Frank Tamaro, uh, T-A-M-M-A-R-O, uh, Tamaro, oh, wow, that's actually phonetically spelled correctly, was uh, callously evicted from a New York City nursing home to accommodate illegal immigrants, uh, as reported by Fox News. Tomorrow, a lifelong New Yorker, an Army veteran who served in the Korean War, expressed his profound distress uh, at being forced out of the senior home uh, he once, uh, senior center he once called home. Uh, with over 130,000, oh my God, it's a fucking, that's, that's a giant city. Uh, with over 130,000 uh, migrants, ar- illegal immigrants, arriving in New York City in the last year and a half, um, tomorrow's ordeal is emblematic of the city's skewed uh, priorities. I felt horrible. Tomorrow uh, lamented to Fox News. It's no joke getting thrown out of a home. He added insult to injury. Uh, tomorrow discovered, oh, excuse me, adding insult to injury. Tomorrow discovered that the migrants were swiftly moved into the very senior set and he, senior set and he was ousted from. Uh, expressing his frustration, uh, he stated, I do get upset when I see them handing out all this money and things, and I'm paying taxes and getting kicked out. Uh, I've never gotten anything from the city or the state, uh, despite his service to the nation. Tomorrow, I'll find himself abandoned and displaced. Um, what are your thoughts on that first before I give you a mic? Um, well, man, I mean, I, I don't know, man. I mean, like, so read the last line one more time. The last line. You weren't wanna, paying attention, were you? You weren't paying attention. I wouldn't pay attention. I'm not no, I, I have attention. no problem with that. I know, see, the, the beauty about this is people can't see or people can't listen to this. We <laughs> share split screens, and you can't see me because of the way the program runs. Now I know what Ashley dealt with for fucking years. Um, yeah, I know when you're not paying attention. Like, whenever well, whenever you're, you're like, hey. Really? I, I do have, a good, I have a good excuse, though. If you no, I don't mind. Excuses. Whenever you're like, ding, uh, uh, sorry for that. Show. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm it's, uh, sorry if that uh, if, if the, if the <laughs> ding is going off. We're like, no, Matt, ding's not going off. We just know you haven't heard a fucking word I've said in the last 30 seconds. What yeah, are your I'm, thoughts? I'm literally trying to share our program ac- across all these different social platforms. Nobody cares. Because this I love us that much. show sucks anyways. Um, Can we get I Love Us shirts made and just have our faces on it? <laughs> my face and <laughs> I your... I got you on that one. My <laughs> face. No, you know what? Here's what it is. I will get an I Love Us shirt, but here's how it's got to be. It has to be... Um, well, it's show up because... She, no, we can't. Both of us on bearskin. All right, no, 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 no. Stacy dashes ass. I get the Ooh. left cheek. You get the right cheek. Our faces are tattooed in her ass. I'm in, I'm in on this. Okay. I'm in. The point uh, was, uh, with the illegal immigrants coming over here, receiving all of these benefits, I do believe that the media has a phenomenal way of outraging people. Number one, so I, let, I don't want to get my point just yet. I want to hear your views on what do you think of all the illegal migrants coming over and being given access to government funds, cell phones, places to stay, okay. police stations, all this. Guy. And if this is legitimately true, a 94-year-old veteran getting kicked out of his home, uh, a nursing home, for that be replaced by them. I mean, I think it's I think it's great that we're giving these people, you know, uh, a, a reprieve from the horrible places they're coming from. No, no, fuck them. Deport every one of them. Deport every one of them. Uh, this is despicable. It's disgusting. Um, this is, there's a massive immigration crisis on the border, and uh, and and it's it's insane. The fact that you're giving up American taxpayer dollars and kicking veterans out in the streets for people that are not even United States citizens is appalling. We have almost a million homeless people in this nation. Twenty five percent of the nation's homeless are in California alone. It is it is it's a it's a disgusting problem. Sixty thousand homeless vets. A lot of them have mental health issues. They need help. And, uh, and here we are taking care of people that aren't even United States citizens. Uh, every single one, like I, I saw last night, I think it was New York where the uh, Hamas people were going, you know, ape shit uh, at the guardrails and the New York cops were trying to, you know, beat them back and it, deport every one of these terrorist sympathizing thugs along with the illegal immigration. The, the, here's the thing, the Hispanics coming across the southern border aren't necessarily, you know, terroristic thugs unless they're MS-13. But this is just nuts that we're even having this discussion. I, um, if you're in the country, it's it's simple. If you came across the country and you're not a U.S. citizen, 
and you snuck in and you don't have a, a information, did you, are you, are, it's a crime. What would, happen if, what would happen if, what would happen? You get kicked out. Yeah, what would happen if you went to another country and did this? I'd be, well, first off, they beat the shit out of me in one of their prisons, yeah. leave me there for about a week to teach me a lesson, feed me piss in a bowl, and then put me on the, put me right at the border gate uh, with armed guards and point and tell me to, you know, march my fat ass across the line. I think it's being done on purpose. I think it's being done on purpose. And the my view is, is that the way that, I, I don't know the legitimacy of this. Is it true that, orderlies came in and said, Hey, pack up your stuff. You got to go. And then we're putting a family of three in your room. I don't know if that's the case. I think it's purposely being done to have this discussion to get Americans to be outraged over. I mean, pissed fucking full of hate of these illegal immigrants. I'm torn because when I was a cop, I served uh, a community that had 60%. Uh, the demographics was Hispanics and the Hispanic families that were, you know, here illegally, they shut their mouths they wanted no part of any trouble with law enforcement because uh, they knew they would get deported. And uh, that didn't mean there were no problems. There was a lot of drinking problems. There was a lot of drug problems. There was. And when Trump said the whole they're sending over rapists, he has no clue how 100% that he was accurate about some aspects because the uh, the, the Hispanic community does have sexual assaults that live in that, um, that uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, that that. The, the family aspect and 